male parents. We the fathers have failed our children. We the Muslim parents have failed our children. I used to have, I, I always have a bunch of students and whatever. You will never hear a, a Christian child knock his foot against something or trip over something and then say something bad. But the Muslims, la ilaha illallah. They say something, and then they, hey. And here, your child at the age of 10 starts insulting mothers. You set a lambing. He is a jinning of Kunila Kadijat. The day is still 24 hours. Monday is still Monday. He said the world has changed. You have changed, but the world hasn't changed. The world will change when the sun rises from where? From the west and settles in the east. Then you know the world has changed. Then you, you are walking and you see the sky down. Then the world has changed. Other than that, all the changes we are talking about is really human beings. I fear for this country. You can see when you're distributing something, mothers teaching their children to be thieves. That one has nothing to do with men. When I distribute things, you see where women are concerned. They grab somebody's child and say, "Jump up, mother! Move them jail after me! Move them back to the mother!" What are you teaching the child? Stealing. It has happened before my eyes on several occasions. Sometimes I have to tell the story. Go and tell that. Call that woman to come to me. Yangu yangu asado musaja did it. Okay, I'm now. Yenye amut. Yangu amu demat. Then shona. Then I decide to take all what you have and give it to somebody who is honest. What are you teaching your children? If you tell them that cheating is okay, the mother does that. You stand, you change position, you go and take twice. When your fellow Gandans do not have. This is the, uh, the infatuation with materialism to the extent that moral values are put to the backbone, and it is unfortunate. Your Excellency, on that note, I would like to bring this interview to an end. Perhaps I wish every Gambian very happy, glorious 50th an, an anniversary. I know that as you celebrate this 50th anniversary, you should say goodbye to dependence. In whatever form, dependence on your parents or dependence on your uncles, you should be on your own and that everybody has a stick to play, a stick in the socioeconomic development of this country. Before you ask for benefits, you should first contribute. If you, if you ask yourself whether you have contributed, if you have not contributed, then you don't deserve any benefits from the system. All of us, there's nobody who can say, I have no role to play. Every living creature has a role to play. And that does not apply only to Gambians. It applies to anybody in this country. All people in this country are citizens of this country. As long as they are here because they are governed by the laws of the Gambia, they are under the purview of the Gambia government and the people of the Gambia. So let us work together in a positive way. We will not accept intolerance in whatever form. But we will also not be dictated to in whatever form, in our religion, in what way we do things, we will do the things in the best interest of, of this country and as true Muslims and true Christians. I wish you all the best. May the years ahead make Gambia the best country on earth and we are the ones to ensure of that, to ensure that Gambia becomes a an economic superpower by 2025, without fail. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Five years from now, people will start forgetting so many countries that have, even in the mass of birds today, even insects talk about.